What's up, y'all? Today we're talking about how Christians should date online. Whether that's dating apps, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is that you're on, right? Now, I came up with this. Well, actually, I didn't even come up with this. Somebody asked me this on my YouTube channel, right? So this is really just my thoughts, right? It's not really a right or wrong answer to this. I, 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 I believe, right? I don't believe there's a right or wrong answer to this. But I do believe that we are Christians, right? We are Christians. Let me say that again. We are Christians, Christ followers, ambassadors of Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, right? So that means, that means we have to represent him and the body at all times, no matter where we at, no matter who we with, no matter what we doing, no matter how we speak, we gotta, we gotta represent Christ at all times. So with that being said, y'all know I'm about to say it. While you're online, while you're on Instagram, while you're on Hinge, while you're on Bumble, while you're on whatever it is that you're on, even if it's not a Christian app, you still have to represent Christ. So what does that mean? That means, right, for men and women, how are you presenting yourself? Can somebody look at your dating profile or your Instagram, Facebook profile, YouTube, uh, TikTok, whatever it is, can they look at your page and see that you represent Christ? Or, or when they go to your profile, do you look like the world? So what do I mean by the world? Do they see you naked on there? Do they see you drinking crazy on there, having bottles all up on your page or on your profile, right? Are you going out in the club acting wild? Are you speaking crazy to people? Are you talking in ways that you should not be talking in these pay um, on these uh, dating sites or on these sites, y'all? Can do they see you representing Christ, right? Now, I say. The way to represent Christ, right, is through the scriptures and who he is and how he is. Yes, live your life, y'all. Show your life on there if you want to, right? But also live your life in a way that they can see Christ. So that might be having stuff up there that represents Christ, meaning you might have posts up there that talks about God. Not everybody does that, but maybe you do that. Maybe you post pictures and you might have a caption with something about God, right? Maybe you might have a cross on or something, but you're not on this on these pages looking crazy. Example, the reason why is because we're presenting ourselves, right? And you're out there looking or trying to be found, right? So as a man, as a Christian man, as a Christ follower, I don't want to go on, onto a girl's page that claim I keep God first, but then I look on her page and she's half naked in every picture half naked at every picture. Her stories is her in the club every weekend, drunk, drinking, her bending over, shaking her tail feather, right? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and she says that she represents Christ or she's at the church every week and I see that. Or even if I don't know her and I just come across it and she's saying all of these stuff, like on Hinge, she might say, oh, I want a godly man. I want a man that, that puts God first and we go to church and we pray, but then I see all this other stuff. You get what I'm saying? That is going to cause me to keep going. That is going to cause me to see what she's showing me as a lie. That's going to cause me to see her as worldly. She's saying she's Christian, but she look worldly. She acting worldly. I don't want that. Right? Same thing for the fellas. Are you presenting yourself as a godly man, my man, on these profiles, on your Instagram and Facebook? Because the ladies, they're looking for a leader. See, we're looking for a helper and we're looking for a woman who puts God first, right? But, but they're looking for a leader and they're looking for a man who puts God first. Does your page, does your profile represent that or does it look more worldly? worldly, right? Does it look more fleshy? 
You get what I'm saying? So if we're going to be online, guys, then we have to be still seen as Christ followers. You get what I'm saying? Because most of our pages represent who we are. And if we try to say that they don't, that is a lie. It's not your whole life. But if Jesus is in your life, then Jesus needs to be in your whole life. Meaning he needs to be showing up everywhere. So is he showing up everywhere? Because if you're trying to date, if you're trying to be seen, if you want, if you're, if you're pursuing a woman or women, whatever it is, y'all don't, 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 don't come after me because I said women, y'all, you get, y'all get what I'm saying. All right. But if you are looking for a godly woman, if you are hoping and waiting for a godly man, then why don't you present yourself as such? Because that is how you get found because that is how you find, right? He who finds a wife finds a good thing. And he was talking about a godly wife, not to mention that it's in the book of Proverbs, which is the book of wisdom, which is a book that consistently tells men and shows men how to find a wife in that book, right? And it also tells you the woman not to go after in that book, Proverbs 5 and 7, tells you the woman not to go after Proverbs 31 and other scriptures tells you the type of woman to go after. So does she look like that? Does he look like that? Don't you see godly men all over the Bible putting God first, praying, thinking, presenting themselves as such? Or does he look like a fleshy man, right? And now once you communicate with each other, right? Because that's the first part, that's presenting. But when you start to communicate with someone, guess what? You also have to do the same thing. So when you're communicating, is God in that? Because whatever is in your heart comes out of the mouth. The thing that you love, you actually talk about more. So can people see that in you? So if we are dating online, wherever it is, you know, because eventually online is going to become on the phone and in, in person, do you represent Christ, right? Because the world represents the world. When I was in the world, guess what? I was worldly online. I was worldly on my page. I was worldly on my profile. And guess what? I was worldly in the street. I was worldly in front of you. I was really like that. But now it ain't like that no more. It's, it's God. It's God. So can a woman, am I going to present myself as a godly man everywhere I go? Y'all ask me, go look at my pages in my profile. Go look at my IG, look at my Facebook Look at my YouTube, look at my TikTok, look at anything. Dating profile, if I'm on a dating, you can see it everywhere. It's every single where, right? And if somebody is afraid, oh, I'm going to scare them off because of this. Well, goodbye. Bye. Deuces. If Jesus scares you off, then that's for a good reason. You understand? Why would you want to keep somebody? Why would you be afraid of scaring somebody off, ladies? Why are you afraid that he going to go? Let him go. Why are you afraid that she going to go? Let her go, bro. Represent Christ wherever you go. That's what I think about these Christians. That's what I think about us as Christians online dating, right? Because some people say that, some people say that, oh, online dating is for the devil. You shouldn't do this. No. Okay. Guess what? Every place is darkness. Everywhere is darkness because we're in the world. We're in sin. But guess what? Whatever darkness is, if we are there, if followers are there, if Jesus was there, wouldn't it be light? So if I'm there, then I spread light, right? And I would hope, because there's so many other believers out here, that is some other people spreading light to the point where I can see light in these dark places. And I'm spreading light in these dark places because the world needs to see light. The world is full of evil and selfishness and sin. So if I represent Christ, then I'm light, love, kindness, truth, right? That's what I have to represent. But, but the world also is pulled towards that as well. So as I'm shining my light in the dark, I'm also helping those in the dark. I'm also triggering their minds and causing them and provoking them to think about their lives. That's why I represent Christ everywhere I go. 
That's why I don't be afraid that somebody gonna run because guess what? It can help them, man. You understand? It can help them. And guess what? They get to see God wherever they at. So for Christians to, to date online, y'all gotta remember, you shine your light wherever you go. You represent Christ wherever you go. Ain't no faking, ain't no fronting, ain't no being afraid. We don't fear, especially not showing Christ, right? You die every day. You die to whoever it is when it comes to Christ. You understand? So when it comes to the world, when it comes to this dating stuff, y'all, when it comes to us courting, remember, we're in the world. We got to navigate through the world as Christ followers in the spirit. So we're a little light trying to shine in this darkness. And we need that to be seen wherever we go. So if y'all trying to date or court, whatever it is, trying to be seen and trying to find anyone, you know, online, whether it's Instagram, whether it's TikTok, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Hinge, whether it's Tinder, you know, I know some of y'all might say don't do that, but I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just saying, if we happen to be on there, then you need to represent Christ. Do not try to look like the world. Do not be afraid of the world where you end up looking like the world. You understand what I'm saying? We don't, we don't, we don't become like them. We used to be like them. We used to be like the world, but we, we don't do that no more. So I represent Christ. Every woman going to see God wherever they go. You understand what I'm saying? If you see me on Hinge, God. If you see me on Instagram, God. If you see me on Twitter, God. If you see me on TikTok, God. How I'm talking, how I'm acting, you understand? God. You understand? It ain't going to be this fleshy Rudy. It's not going to be me with my five buttons down and I'm over here flirting with women and looking all seductive in a picture. That's fleshy. Ladies, I don't want, we don't want, godly men don't want women looking all fleshy like the world. You looking like the world. You understand what I'm saying? I'm looking on your page and you look just like this girl that's in the world heavy. You look, you shaking your butt and you want me to consider you have interest in you. You look just like that. I used to be over there. I don't want that no more. So when I'm looking, I'm looking for what isn't that anymore. That's attractive, right? God is attractive. Can I see a woman who's not being like this? Can I see a modest woman? Can I see a wholesome woman? You understand what I'm saying? Can I see a respectful woman, a kind, loving, nurturing woman? Right. And you want to see a, a strong man who keeps his word, a man of integrity, a man of good character, a man of love, a man who represents Christ wherever he goes, a man with kindness, a man with the fruit of the spirit inside of him. Right. And y'all might say, well, you can't see that on, on online. Uh, yes, you can. On, on, on the dating apps, you can see that they got the voice notes. They got the videos on Instagram. They got reels. They got stories. You can see it. So we got to make sure we represent Christ wherever we go. You understand? I say, if we're going to use what's been created in this world, then we're going to put God in all of it. You understand? God is going to be there and they're going to see him and they're going to see him through us. So let's make sure we're doing that so that we make sure that we continue to build the body, especially in relationships, so we can have kingdom relationships and we can show them how you can be this way and still put Christ first and have love and have a strong relationship. You understand? We don't got to do what y'all do. We do what we do. And then we got to make sure we stay together so that that can bless the world. Y'all. Right? That's my thoughts on the Christian online dating thing. I feel like put God first and you ain't going to never go wrong. Right? Put God first. And you ain't going to never go wrong. I don't care who there. I don't care what's over there. I put God first. Then God going to show up. All right? All right. I love y'all. I'm going to get at y'all when I get at y'all.